so I am going to talk about soju if I can figure out where I put the stupid bottle. Where is the bottle? Okay, I'm just going to have to do this video without the bottle of soju. So, but if you guys see it anywhere, you can just feel free to let me know. Um, so I'm going to tell you about soju and why it's called soju. So soju is a very famous, very popular Korean drink. And it's not just a drink like orange juice. It's a drink that is better than orange juice. So I'm going to talk about that for a little bit. Where did soju come from? First off, the word soju is actually two words put together. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of that. Many of you guys know about Seoul. And if you want to go to Seoul, you should like this video right now. So, also, if you've ever had soju, you might want to like this video right now. So, Seoul is a very popular place in Korea. And this little thing up here, oh, that, yeah, that's where it's at. I forgot I put it there. <laughs> this bottle up here of soju is actually tasting, better tasting in Korea. It tastes better in Korea. So you should come to Korea and taste some soju. So if you want to come to Korea, you should like this video. Also, soju tastes best in Seoul. That's right. Soju tastes best in Seoul. So you probably forgot that you want to go to Seoul. So you should like this video just for me reminding you that you want to go to Seoul. So soju, number one, tastes best in Seoul. So you should go. Number two, I am what you might call a Seoul sista. And you have to say it like that. Sista. Number three, soju is a very popular drink in Korea. It is like juice. People drink it so much, it's considered juice. So, people always say, I want some soul juice. Yes, I want some soul juice. So, why say soul juice when you can just say soju? Duh. If you didn't know that so soul and, so and juice were a compiled word, you should probably like this video for me educating you. Because I'm a teacher, and I'm an educator. So, like this video. Also, if you're wondering why I'm balancing this thing on my head, it's not because I'm drunk. I promise. Promise. Yakso. Yakso. Anyways, so, you should probably like this video for me saying one Korean word in this whole video. You should. Also, if you like Korea and you want to learn Korean, you should probably like this video. Also, if you think I'm crazy for still keeping this soju bottle on my head, you should probably like this video. If you want me to stop telling you to like this video, you should probably like this video. Alright, I'll see you guys later and I hope you enjoyed my educational video on soju. Actually, stop there. I lied. If you want me to end this video, you should probably like this video. If you want to know the real information on soju, you should probably like this video. Why? Because I'm going to tell you right now. Through Wikipedia. If you've ever used Wikipedia, you should probably like this video. Okay, so soju. And I'm going to give you a little reading. <clears throat> Soju is a distilled beverage native to Korea. Its, ta it its taste is comparable to vodka, though often slightly sweeter due to the sugars added in the manufacturing process and more commonly consumed neat. What is neat? I don't know, but it says neat. Like this video if you don't know what neat is. N-E-A-T. Most 
brands of modern soju are made in South Korea, though traditionally made from rice. Like this video if you didn't know that soju was made from rice. And like this video if you did know soju was made from rice. Most major brands supplement or even replace the rice with other starches such as potato, wheat, barley, sweet potato, or tapioca. I did not know that. So like this video if you didn't know that sometimes soju is not rice. It is potato. Potato! <clears throat> like this video if you hate my expressions at the moment. Soju is clear in color, and why is color spelled that way? Like this video if you spell color C-O-L-O-R, not C-O-L-O-U-R, color, color, sorry. Like this video if you think that that is not the right spelling. <laughs> it's spelled many ways in other countries. So, like this video if you are from a place that spells color C-O-L-O-U-R. Soju is clear in color and typically varies in alcohol content from about 18.5% to about 45% alcohol by volume. With 20% ABV, what is ABV? Like this video if you have no idea what ABV is. And like this video if you do know because you are crazy and you should not know what that is. Being most common. 20% being most common. ABV. It is widely consumed in part because of its relatively low price in Korea. Like this video if you love the cheap prices of alcohol in Korea. Like this video if you have no idea what the prices are in Korea. Like this video if you have no money. Like this video if you would like to taste some soju. I don't know why I said that. Like this video if you're tired of me rambling about soju. It is widely consumed in part because it's relatively low in pri price in Korea. A typical uh, 300 mil milliliter, I guess, ml is milliliter. Like this video if you don't know sizes and conversions like that. Like this video if you think I should know the conversions. Like this video if you hate batteries that die while you're in between making a video. It is widely consumed, blah, 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 blah. A typical 300 milliliter bottle. I'm going to say milliliter because I'm not sure. So like this video if you think I am correct. Um, soju costs the consumer 1,000 to 3,000 South Korean won. Like this video, when you heard 1,000, you thought I meant $1,000. Like this video, if you wish you had $1,000. So 1,000 to 3,000 won is $1 to $3 American dollars. Because there is no other dollars that is not American, obviously. Won is not dollars. Pesos are not dollars. So why do I need to say American dollars? Like this video if you think I'm right. <laughs> in South Korea, in, in the USA, it tends to cost substantially more, at least $6 minimum. Like this video if you have $6 in the bank. Like this video if you don't have $6 in the bank. Linguistically, the word soju is the Korean is the Korean rendering of the sign of the Chinese um, shouju, <laughs> which literally means burned liquor. Incidentally, the Dutch derived English word brandy literally burned wine. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> what am I reading? I can't even understand it uses the same linguistic concept to describe a distilled alcoholic beverage. 
So the Dutch use a similar word for an alcoholic beverage. Like this video if you are Dutch. The Chinese word shaoju is rendered in Japanese as shochu. I think. Like this video if you care about Japan. Like this video if you will pray for Japan. Like this video if you will not pray for Japan but keep them in your thoughts. Like this video if you like Japanese. Like this video if you like anime. Like this video if you would hope I would stop using my hand to say like this video. The Chinese word shaoju is rendered in Japanese as shochu. The word that denotes a distilled alcoholic beverage that is similar to soju. Entry in the Webster dic blah, 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 Dictionary. Like this video if you go blah, 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 blah when you make a mistake talking. Soju was entered into the online Merriam-Webster Dictionary in 08 and was included in the printed edition of September 08. Soju is now one of the only a handful that doesn't make sense. Soju is now one of the only a handful of Korean words that was that have entered the English lexicon. Other others being kimchi, taekwondo, and hangul. Uh, Merriam Webster dates the words appearance in the American English lexicon at nineteen seventy eight. So Soju is in the dictionary. Like this video if you like that soju is in the Korean dictionary. Look up soju. Like this video if you're going to look up soju in the Merriam-Webster dictionary. Soju in Korea. Like this video if you would like me to read more during my video post. Like this video if you hate the way I read and that you want me to stop reading. Like this video if you feel like this is a bedtime story. Soju was first distilled around the 13th century during the Mongol invasions of Korea. The Mongols had acquired the technique of distilling Arak from the Persians um, during, it says Arak, distilling is the name, um, during their invasion of Central Asia, Middle East around 1256. Then it was subsequently introduced to Koreans and dis I can't see that far. Distilleries were set up around the city of Taesong. And like this video, if you had no idea what distilleries was, but now you know that it is a place that distills drinks. Uh, indeed, in the area surrounding Kaesong, soju is known as Arakju. From 1965 until 99, 1999, in order to alleviate rice shortages, the Korean government prohibited the traditional distillation of soju from rice. Instead, highly distilled ethanol from sweet potatoes and tapioca was mixed with water, flavoring and sweetener to create soju. Although the prohibition has been lifted, cheap soju continues to be made this way. Like this video, if you had no idea you've been drinking cheap soju. Like this video, if you still have not had soju during the duration of this video. Like this video, if you are currently drinking soju while watching this video. The Korean government regulates the alcohol content of diluted soju to less than 35%, but alcohol levels have continued to fall in order to reduce production costs. The lower alcohol concentration also makes the drink milder to consume, which may broaden its appeal. Several regions have resumed manufacturing soju from the traditional distillation of grain resulting in distilled soju. Soju from Andong is the most famous of all, with an ABV around 45%. Like this video if you
have never had any alcohol in your life. Like this video if you had alcohol today. Like this video if you um, have a name that starts with S for soju. Soju in the United States. Yes, I'm going to continue reading. The liquor licensing laws in the states of California and New York specifically exempt the sale of soju from regulation relating to the sale. My throat is getting dry. <coughs> Relating to the sale of other distilled spirits, like this video if you hope you are not drinking distilled spirits. The liquor licensing laws in the United States and New York specifically exempt the sale of soju from regulation relating to the sale of other distilled spirits, allowing, I don't know what that means, allowing business with a beer or wine license to sell it without requiring more ex expensive license required. What? The more expensive license required for other distilled spirits. This has led to the appearance in the United States of many soju based equivalents of traditional western mixed drinks normally based on vodka or similar spirits such as the soju martini and the soju cosmopolitan. Another consequence is that the manufacturers of similar distilled spirits from other parts of Asia, such as Japanese so shokju, have begun to relabel their products as soju for sale in those regions. So if you have no idea what I just read, like this. If you know what I just read, like this, because I don't. Um, brands. There are many brands, blah, 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 and I'm not going to even go there. So, like this video if you are glad I'm finally done reading. And like this video if you were holding your breath this whole time, thinking that bottle is going to fall off of my head. Like this video if you are glad that I am finished talking. If you like this video right now, I will stop recording. So like it now. Hurry. 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 You didn't like it yet. You didn't like it yet. You didn't like it yet. Right there. Right there. Like it. Like it. Like it. Like this video. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. Like it, 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 like it. If you like this video, it will stop recording. Like it, like it, like it, like it, like it, like it. Woo!